what's up guys welcome to this video so in this one i just want to talk about how i made the valentine's gift market 3d project from concept through to the final renders okay so the main goal of this project was to be able to establish how much space the client was going to utilize or how much space was going to be used up by the furniture so that they can effectively plan on um, how much furniture they needed to hire the extra furniture that needed to be hired okay so i had to do a side visit on this project and before i could do anything so that i can understand what kind of um, furniture they had the measurements and everything and then i had to bring that information to my 3d software so that i can be able to create something visual so i'm just going to let the video play till the end so that you can just see the final product then i'll come back later and show you some of the things that were happening in the background before the final result was produced Stay tuned. <music> So I had to go for a side visit and take a look at the sofa that the client had so that they can take some rough measurements because what we needed was to know how much space this sofa was going to fill up in the venue. So I had to have some precise measurements of um, what the client wanted and so I had to do likewise after taking the measurements of various um, furniture that they have uh, from their warehouse, we had to proceed to the venue, which was the Jubilee Hall showgrounds. Okay, so we did some rough measurements of the place and we had the 2D plan for the actual space and the client had to explain what they wanted for um, this project okay then i after gathering everything i now had to move to my 3d softwares where i had to begin the modeling so the client was so precise as to what they wanted because these uh furniture that i had to put into the project i couldn't find them online so i was required to model this from from scratch so i went to sketchup and did some modeling of the furniture and i also did some more components okay let me just bring that up okay so i did some more components in sketchup you know just like these stands you know these bar stands um these rectangular standing tables you know and this was me trying to do a uh, cloth simulation from um, using cloth wakes in uh, sketchup but i didn't like how the material was um was falling down like so it wasn't so so good for me so that's why i had to use um clone 3d then i just had to create this rough pattern that i would use as drips okay and um let's see yeah i had this main back counter for the opening at the door this one and i knew that i would texture this in lumion okay and um let's see what else i had some tables that i designed and put some thick cloth over there yeah so this was this was the basic basic part then next i had to model the boots yeah so still in sketchup i had to model the boots from scratch 
you know, just designing them according to the specifications that were given to me. I had to model. I just modeled a single one and then I made duplicates of the booth because we needed about um, this is eight, we had about 12 booths and each was in a square pattern of two meters. Okay, so I had to model them and um, create some shelves where things were going to be stacked. Okay, then the next thing from this phase was now to bring everything into the 3D uh, Jubilee hole. So because I couldn't do certain things in SketchUp, I had to switch to Blender where I was able to model the sofa, the stool and the, the long stool and some um, round bar um, tables. So I had to switch to Crow 3D so that it can do some simulation of this kind because I'm not so good with the uh, cloth simulations in Blender. So I had to go to Crow 3D and it really did a good job for me. Okay. And um, like I mentioned earlier, the sofa were measured in the first place. So I tried by all means to design them in the correct scale as possible because we really wanted to see um how much space was going to be occupied so i had to get everything to be in the right scale so since i had already modeled the jubilee hole in advance i just had to start populating the scene with the the object okay so this was me bringing in the assets that I had created individually into the scene. So I had created some um, some metal stands just to act like they are holding the drapes that I had created earlier, and created the uh, the main bar, the main bar for the event. Then I had to bring in the um, the stands and put them in the center as per measurements that we did earlier and yeah I brought in the other stands for the back as well and yeah, then I brought in things like the the flowers and everything but I did that in Lumion because I, I thought that was more convenient and remember this um, components were made in different formats some were made in sketchup some were made in blender and some were made in uh, in crow 3d yeah so i had to um, be able to manage them all together and lumio and looked to, to be the best way that i could uh, manage them okay so let's jump me to lumio and see how it was like so I had now brought all the elements into Lumion and I had come up with a layout of how I wanted things to be. So I placed them accordingly and uh, I brought in some um, plants and some flower pots and some other things from the Lumion library. So Lumion came in handy on this one. So I used some Lumion materials to help me uh, bring this into life and um, yeah I think that was pretty much pretty much the work and the layout was basically my idea and my clients input and yeah I think it worked out it really did work out we had the the main bar table over there we had some round uh, around stools we had a dj's platform around around there and we had the variety of sofas and tables you know all set up accordingly and we had something that was customized to be like a photo booth so to say with some patterns and then we actually had something like a a backdrop that was going to be used for uh, some some photography yeah so basically this was 
it you know it was it it was it looks to be something that is simple that a lot of work had to go in it because it was something that was custom so i had to create everything as original as i could okay the furniture was as original as i could model them yeah so basically this is much it and if i was to go to my picture view let me just go to my picture view i see yeah so these are just some saved scenes that i had okay so yeah so if we do some preview renders this is actually what we get to see on the shots the final shots okay yeah, so this is just some preview of how the result would look like so this project took me about excuse me about seven days to complete and it was pretty much a lot of work so from here i now had to jump to uh i think after effects if i'm not wrong to get to attach all the all the renders that i had made from the video because i was rendering them out as video as image sequences that i had to compile in the end and form one thing okay so that's pretty much it that's pretty much it that he did a bunch of software were used and um there was a side visit there there was a lot of modeling but i really did pull it off I really did pull it off at the end of the day and the client was so happy and was so glad that he came through for more work again yeah so that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this one and i will see you on the next one